Hello everyone, I'm Vicki from the Eagle's Nest and it's been a while since my last video. So I'm ready to start back on this journal. It's been about a year since I started this. And I did a few things in here and I cannot remember what I showed and what I didn't show, but I know I just did this recently. I took some um, cheesecloth and I glued this on. I just glued them down I'm probably going to have to take some of that off as I, but I used the um, Fabri-Tac glue and came through on this side. So I'm going to have to find something, I don't know what yet, just to glue on there to cover that up. Plus when I have a tag in there, it'll cover it up. And I know I did this, I have a doily. Uh, journal card, postcard, sticker, and a fabric number thing I glued down. Sometimes you just don't want a bunch of pockets because then you start stuffing them and it gets very full. I mean, this is getting pretty chunky and not every page is full, so I've got that. So I did have something back here I was gonna work on. These little pockets. Those, hmm, can't remember where I got those. I'll have to look it up and I will put it in the description box below. So they're just little pockets with the, um, just cut them out like this. You can use this pattern to make any pocket from any paper. And when you have these little gussets, that gives you a full pocket when you go to put a tag in. You're not just, you know, because when you glue it, you lose that little bit. So this way you have the full thing. You can glue it either with those on the inside, which is fine. But since I'm gluing it down, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just glue it on the outside. Otherwise, you have to be concerned about the glue coming off and getting inside there. So I have these two. And I was trying to think, do I want to put them this way, this way? You know, there's multiple ways. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go this way with the two. And the way I'm going to glue this, I'm just going to glue this first. I didn't turn this over. I'm getting low on glue. I was having issues with it being plugged up. Uh, hopefully we can, I'm just gonna glue these down just to um, get them out of the way. Well, I'll just do them both. Oh, I did that one already. This way I'm just gonna glue the whole back side of it. Okay, I think I might overlap like this. So I'm gonna glue this one on first. When I came in here, I noticed my cap was like that. So I had to spray it down. So I'm hoping in a few minutes, it'll be fine. We all know it will. I'm just gonna use the glue stick. I mean, you could use the, uh, art glitter glue. It's been so long I can't remember what to call things. Okay. I just like, you know, have a good bit of glue on there. All the way to the edges. I'm an all the way to the edge kind of person. Just to avoid things coming up. I'll go to here, I think. Yes. Now I'll do this one before I totally commit. It's pretty committed, but I can say it's not. If I needed to shift it a little bit, I could. So, hmm, just about like that. Okay, I need my, I did find that using these was a really great way to get them pressed down very well. 
You don't have to worry about ink on your fingers, glue. Just press it down. Of course, I don't see a tag this size to go in there. I'll go through and make those another time. This, I want to say, was paper clipped to something. And something else I was working on was these clocks. Oops. Uh, I somehow got into these clocks. So I, of course, printed out a bunch of different ones. And I printed out the little hands and cut them out. All that fussy cutting, I did it ahead of time. This one here was a Tim Holtz. But I didn't have any arms, any hands, so I went and found a bunch on the internet, which is what I do. Um, if you're gonna print stuff from the internet on, into something you're selling, you wanna make sure that there's no copyright involved then you could be in trouble. Okay, I think that went there. These, I, I'm not selling my stuff, so I don't really care at this point. So I cut those out. Actually, I got out my big shot and I had the die, the little dies, and I put it on there and cranked it through, cut them out. One of them, I think this one, one of them I could use my punch. It didn't punch very well. I think it was this one, see. So if you have things that happen to be the size of your punches, great. But these happen to be the sizes of my dies. Although one of them wasn't, and I had to do it by hand. I just don't remember which one. So to punch these holes, oh boy, let me cover that up. See, I've forgotten already. I have these that I bought way back when I first started scrapbooking. These are, one end is a hole, you can do the holes, and this end you can set um, eyelets. I'm not gonna be setting any eyelets. I just need the holes to punch now in these. Well, I don't need to use it for these, but I'll show you how it works. I just, my hole punch didn't work. Let's see what I've got here. There's a small one. That one's very tiny, I don't know. The others I think are gonna to be too big. So what you need is a magazine or something thick that you're not gonna go through into that. And I'm not taking chances. Let me double these up. Okay, the way you use these, and they're very loud, it's not the best, but when it's all you got. Okay, let me see if this is gonna be the right size. I think so. So, put it on there. Hold it down and then snap it. Probably one time should do it. Yes, and there's your hole. Okay. But I don't really wanna do those with that. So I have Let's see, this one, this little dot tells you the size. Um, this one looks about like this, so you can just punch them with this. Ah, mm. uh, oh, that was close. Uh, maybe this is too big. You know what, I'm going to use the smaller one. This is going to be tiny, but... It's just hard to see. I just have to get the um, the brad through. Come on, come on, let go. Oh boy, it's stuck on there. Let me find a little tool. And just scrape it off. Oh, who knew? Okay, I'm gonna to have to get another one, I can't. Well, that should be fine. That's not this one though, that was this one. And I think I chose this. This is copper. Well, this one's more of a copper. 
of a rust. That one's kind of rusty. So I'm just going to put one of these together. And it's going to be this one because this is the one I want to use. And that barely fits. Should have used the smaller. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. Well, I didn't ink them. Okay, we must ink. I should use black, shouldn't I? Let's find the black. Distress Oxide and my black. Well, I'll use this little tiny. I got the finger daubers. I think for this, they'll work best. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't easy. And the fussy cutting wasn't horrible, but you know, fussy cutting is fussy cutting. And when you got this tiny of a thing, let me see, is this the same size? I'm gonna use this one. Do a little bit of a swap right there. We're going to this one. We can't use the too big of one. So we're back to this and getting it off. There we go. Oops. Now let's get this inked and get that together. So I've got some upcoming videos in mind. I just was going through some G Kerr, K-E-R-R. -R. I mean, she is totally awesome. If you don't watch her channel, you need to. Because she has stuff that's just, it's not unbelievable, but it's not same old, same old. It's a lot of different ideas and stuff. It's really, really awesome. So I'll put that on top and this one. So I'm going to start doing, I went through, I started at the beginning when she started her freebies, which is about three years ago. She started them during COVID. Okay, let's get that in there. Flip it over. And, whoops. There we go. And so I was looking at the video. So she'll do the Friday freebie. It's on Facebook. You just need to subscribe. And then she'll do a video on, you know, one idea of what she does with the um, freebie. So I just want to leave this. I don't want to glue it to the point where you can't turn it. So... You know, I'm going to think I'm going to try. Let's see. That might be too small. I'm going to cut a circle. Okay, of something. Let me rifle through my trash. This is kind of heavy. I'm going to cut this. Maybe I do need heavy. I'm going to glue this on here. But I'm only going to glue around the edges so that this stays free. Now there's that, oh, I love this. And I wonder why it's clogged up. Well, well, let's try this. Oh, I felt it. Big glob, but we'll be okay, I think. I don't need a lot of glue. I just want this secured around this edge. And I'm gonna put the pin back in there. And I'm gonna put this over top of that. I can kind of see through it, so I feel like I'll just pick it up. So these maybe can still be moved. Maybe, barely. Not that it matters. It truly doesn't. Just in case I want to move them. I'm not going to glue those down unless 
they start getting hung up on something and I have to do it. Okay, so now I wanted to put this on a page. Okay, I've got, let's see, pockets. Okay, this is just going to be a, a thing. I don't really want to put it there. I don't want it there. Let me find, because I wanted a page, so I printed out this. I wanted something that looked old world that would go with the clock. So I'm gonna use that on the page somehow. Can I find the page? That's too similar. This is something G Car makes. She does um, origami. That was a G Car. Don't remember about that. Could have been. Of course, I made a bunch of those. This I've just paper clipped. I don't know if I've showed this. This is a belly band and the paper clip. I just clip it on there. I have smaller ones as well. Okay, that's similar. Okay, I want to look for something that those hands aren't going to get hung up on. Probably here because I may not put anything there. Okay, what's there? That. So, I don't want to glue the whole page. I was just thinking. That was a way. I was just thinking of tearing this. Mm, but I think I want to cut this one edge off. Just to start. I may... I need to, I need to look what part of this. I was thinking of just tearing a piece. I don't care for those little things, but I like this up here. Let's go this way. Where do I need to go? This way. I'm trying to get the white so I can ink it. I'm not good at fussy tearing either. Let's go this way. Some people can just tear right down the thing and mine goes every which way. I just can't get it. I just can't. Okay. Ah. Uh. Normally, I would save these because, you know, you save every little piece because you might use it, but nope. Okay. And then I'm going to put the clock. I'll make sure I like what I'm doing. Um, I think so. Let's ink it with the black. Black soot. And this is my big dauber. I mean, I have really been using my uh, vintage photo and I've had it for quite a while. So what you do is you just spray it with water, a little spritzing. Normally, I would advise to do it like when you're done for the day, let it sit overnight. Because if you do it now, it's gonna be kind of juicy. That might end up being a mess depending on what you're doing. Probably just ink and edges will be fine, but if you're stamping, you definitely wouldn't want to do it. Let me see if I can darken these up a little more. Yes. Okay. So I've had to start doing a lot of printing because, I gotta get this right, 10, 11, 12, there's one. 
it's near the end of the month and my I gotta do 50 pages a month. And my rollover, which I only have 150 to roll over, is full. So I can't roll over a single page, so I need to print my 50 and then a few in case I need to roll over next month. I never know. I'm in the HP Ink program. That's what I was referring to. Okay, I like that. Actually, I love that. I just love that. Okay. This goes down first. Glue stick. I just haven't done a lot. I've got a lot going on around here. I'm still waiting to hear from my homeowner's insurance. I had that little flood last year. November 2nd was when the flood actually happened. And now we're working on the settling of it. I had a choice. <laughs> on one hand, they said, oh, there's $4,000 worth of stuff we're gonna cover, which was my two bathroom vanities, and I'm not sure exactly what else. But then after my $2,500 deductible, they would cut me a check for $1,500 and walk away. That's that. But the other thing I could do, they have a program that I would pay this company because they have an agreement with the uh, restoration company. I would pay them $2,500, which is my deductible, and I only have a $10,000 max on this whole thing so which is why the four thousand was the first one they came up with so under the other one i pay them the twenty five hundred dollar deductible and they will they had, they had a list of things and one of the things was replacing the floors my flooring and that is something i am definitely not looking forward to and i don't know for sure if they're going to do it i've lost my page um, they're waiting on approval. I mean, they're the ones that wrote the thing up, the estimate and everything, and the guy came out and we went over everything, you know, taking off the baseboards, doing the floors, putting the baseboards back, painting, blah, blah, blah. That's gonna be a big chore for me when you gotta start moving stuff. I mean, if you saw this room alone, <laughs> I don't know what the guy thought when he saw it. I wasn't in here. But I told him that my desk, this it's an L-shaped desk, and I have three small two-door file cabinets that it just sits on. So I can clean it off, take the lid, this up, and then, you know, so it wasn't as difficult as it looked. I didn't want him to be too scared. Okay, now we'll glue this down. Oh, uh, 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 nope. That was a mess. I'll save that, but I'm not going to use it for this one. So anyway, I'm, that's looming over my head. I'm waiting to hear any day about that, what they're going to do. Which also included the bathroom vanities, but they would... <laughs> this is what's weird. They're going to take up my old vanities, which are about probably 30 years old. They're going to take the tops off custom build new bottoms and put the old tops back on. I'm thinking to myself, really? But, you know, I did have water under my floor in the closet where the uh, water heater was. Where did we decide 12 was here? So I decided I really would like them to redo the floors. Because when I go to sell, I don't want any mold issues coming up. And I don't want to live in mold. So, we'll see. They may or may not even do it. So, okay, let's gently do this. There we go. I just love that. I just think it's so awesome. Okay, let's see what we're at. 24 minutes, okay. Okay, I don't want to do, I don't want to start anything else, so. We got this done, and we got this done. So, I'm just gonna move ahead 
and work on my next video. So we're going to say goodbye for now. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a nice day.